Yeah, you know, I've always supported Jungle. All right, you know, I've always supported Jungle, but, you know, they got short memories, you know, I could still remember. Jungle is viewed as, as just basically um, a black musical form. House music was never viewed as a black musical form, even though its origins were black. It was, it was looked on as a multicultural musical form. Jungle is not looked on like that. Jungle is looked on like as, as the ragamuffin of house. If you want to go, if, well, you can't go to certain jungle range because, you know, them black guys there, they might just whatever, whatever, and it's kind of rough and, you know, it's, it's a bit dangerous, which is all the stereotypes are creeping back in. Because it's now a black and white thing, that's why it's even worse. That's why the segregation is even more so being perpetrated by the media. When I'm playing, I just put, I don't know, I don't really check that I'm trying to put a tune in fast or try to put a tune in slow, you just play it to the, um, you play it for how long the people you uh, presume the people are going to dance for, you know. You just look at them, You've got to keep your eye on the crowd. Not, somebody told me that one time, long, long time ago, when I used to do scratching, I used to be scratching and scratching and scratching away. And when I looked, you know, and I, to me, I'm doing the best thing on earth. And I'm scratching away. And when I looked up now, well, actually, no, I don't think I ever did look up until somebody said to me, Ron, you know what I mean? Look at what you're doing. And when I looked up, everybody was just sort of like standing there, staring. No one was at dancing, nothing like that. And from then, it sort of like stuck with me that if you're going to DJ, you just got to look up and play for the people. See, like, all the DJs here, we all kind of graduated together. The originators are Fabio and Groove Rider. There are no other, you know, like, forefront of the bad thing. I, I think that the samples that I use um, reflect the way, like, how I, I'm making my music. You know what I mean? You know, people, you know, name like people, for example, like um, Goldie, um, like Groove Rider, um, and another very good example. You know, the guys who do the Tom and Jerry stuff, um, generally a lot of the reinforced guys, um, you know, they're just this grown up sort of air to their music. That's what's happening there. More and more people are growing within the music. Like, say they were 16 then, they've started, like, producing. They're starting to mature now. And that's why the music will become better and better. Even before Terminator, all the early four era stuff, we've always, like, strived to use, to use original breaks and original ideas, yeah? And, um, when Goldie came along, uh, he kind of enhanced it, kind of, you know. He made us think of things that we wasn't really doing. Uh, we're responsible for a lot of new ideas. I made just to speed off that. Mixed Mag, um, DJ Magazine, worst offender of it at all. They, they basically put the scene down and say it doesn't exist anymore, let's forget about it. And what they don't seem to realise is there's people in that scene making music that's far better than anything else being made in the UK. And that will always happen. Because one thing about the breakbeat scene is it is innovative in its own way. There are certain individuals making tracks that blow away all the house stuff being made in the UK, but they won't accept it. It's the only music around that's really challenging technology at the moment and uh, utilising all the technology that's around to its fullest. Since I've been going to the race, I've seen direction again. It's the first place that has really buzzed me for about a year. And this, that's thanks to Moose has shown me that thing. I've been the buzz element, that's what I say. It's getting more musical, you know. People are thinking about what they're doing. There was a time when, when uh, music was being made and everyone was just putting in regular, regular samples and, it, and it, it wasn't really mean nothing. But if you listen to the music now, you know, it's got harmonies, it's got violins, it's got its music. There's certain tunes that that are delivering different styles of jungle. Jungle isn't just one thing, as I, as I said before. Jungle covers a whole variety of 
of different elements. It's only that certain people are hearing certain tunes and saying, oh, that's jungle. The mass media never take it seriously because they'll only be in it as long as it, it's making them money. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's the same with anything, really. You, you just don't... If you believe in it strongly, and we do, this is why our scene is underground, do you know what I mean? But yet, saying that, we still have the biggest party going about. A lot of this two decks we started from the hip hop scene with the scratching of one deck to two decks, yeah? Well, then it moved on to the hard car scene, mixing up two beats. A lot of the DJs followed the fashion of chopping up with the crossfader. But as the music got a lot more technical with the combination of great beats in one track, it became a bit too much for the hard years to follow. So where, where Randall had kind of got the advantage was that he kind of made it seem like it was a two hour session of one song. The blending of the tunes there, uh, carefully selected and cut across at the right mm. time without just chopping up, it just made, made everyone easier to follow mm. the beats. And this the Paradise Club, what's good about it is the sound. The sound, and because it's a closed off, it's not a big thing, it's just like, really, that's just like. It holds just the amount of right people so they can get a vibe in there. You know, and people come up with to hear their tunes, a lot of DJs pass through and everything. It's like everyone knows each other. to a club and stand about looking good all night and then leave the club and then you ask them, you talk to them people and they say we've got good night in there. They couldn't really tell you because they probably haven't listened to the music. So they're obviously more into the club than what they are, the DJs and the music. This thing is more about the music. <laughs> 